Top 10 Unfotable Anime Hello and welcome back to another Top 10 with Anime Dive X. Today we're going to be looking at the Top 10 Anime done by the animation studio Unfotable. Unfotable was founded back in the good old 2000s and a unique hallmark of the studios, which can be seen in many of their works, is the use of clay animation sequences. And you don't see much of that these days. Many great anime have come from Unfotable, despite it only being 21 years old. And we're gonna give you our top 10 favorites right now. So let's dive in. Number 10, Gaku and Utopia Manabi Straight, also known as just Manabi Straight. This anime was released back in 2007. However, it takes place in the year 2035, where the world's birth rate has decreased and schools are being shut down at an alarming rate. Despite this rather bleak setting, Manabi Straight is actually quite an uplifting anime, thanks to its cheerful and optimistic MC, Manami Amamiya. Manami is a young high school girl who decides to join her school student council, and although many people might find her enthusiasm to be exhausting, Manami is determined to uplift the spirits of everyone around her, no matter how hard it seems. This is a plot that you really don't have to take too seriously, despite the dark future that it presents, as it's mainly a story about finding your passion, making the most out of life, and changing your circumstances for the better, instead of allowing your circumstances to change you. Number 9. Tales of Zestiria, The Cross Originally started life as an RPG game, in 2016, Unfotable Studios did an anime adaptation of it using CGI. Now, whilst the use of CGI in anime can be a bit of a dividing factor for anime fans, especially if it's done wrong, Unfotable Studios certainly put a lot of effort into creating this series, which is definitely reflected in the impressive backgrounds and epic battle scenes. The storyline is pretty simple, as the theme revolves around the battle of good versus evil. And whilst it might not be knocking anyone's socks off, Tales of Zestiria the Cross promises a whole lot of world building and character development, with little to no fan service, which let's be honest, can get annoying. So if you're after a fantasy adventure in every sense of the word, then this anime might be just the one for you. Number 8, Night Hunter's Eternity, otherwise known as Weibkrisgluhen, which literally means White Cross Glow in German, is the third installment of the Night Hunter's franchise. The story centers around the prestigious Koa Academy, a school for the best and brightest students in Japan, where they learn how to become the next generation of leaders. After a terrorist attack is somehow linked to a sudden rash of suicides at the academy, it's up to a team of four assassins to go undercover to try and expose the evil that resides within the school. Somehow this doesn't sound like a school that I'd want to go to. Even though this is the third installment of the series, you don't need to have seen the previous series to understand what's happening. It's a well-paced dramatic anime that's equal parts dark and gritty. Great for when you feel like watching a mystery that you can sink your teeth into. Kind of a problem here. If you guys don't like this video, Senpai won't notice me. Oh, phew. <laughs> Thanks for clicking like. I'm sure he'll look at me now. Number 7, Ninja Nonsense. If you haven't guessed by the title yet, this isn't an anime that takes itself too seriously. In fact, it's pretty much a parody that relies on absurd humor and a whole lot of fan service. So if you're not into that kind of thing, you might want to give this one a miss. The premise is pretty simple. Kaede is a normal high school girl who is just focused on passing her exams. One day she meets a ninja in training called Shinobu. After that fateful meeting, Kaede gets dragged into Shinobu's bizarre world of goofy partying ninjas. Sounds like a party I'd like to join. This series really isn't trying to get across any poignant life lessons. Instead, it focuses on delivering endless gag reels and hilarious drama. So if you're looking for a simple comedy that isn't hard to follow, you won't be disappointed. Number 6. Dokoida. If you're after a serious superhero anime with lots of drama and grit, well, I'm afraid this isn't it. Whilst Dokoida might be a superhero anime, it's one that definitely doesn't take itself seriously. The story follows a country boy called Suzuo Sakurazaki. Suzuo is struggling to find a job, when one day he is approached by a teenage space alien called Tenpopo. Tenpopo works for the Galaxy Federation Police, who are looking for someone to test out their new prototype, mechanical power suits. And Suzuo just so happens to be their test dummy. After putting on the suit, Suzuo transforms into the hero, Dokoida, and he must defeat the hired villains to test the limits of his suit. The only downside to all of this is that all of the heroes and villains hired by the GFP have to live together, and if their identities are revealed, they lose their jobs. With humor so over the top, this is one series which won't fail in making you laugh. Number 5. God Eater Another video game turned anime now, God Eater is one of Unvotable's most highly received series. 
The anime takes place in an apocalyptic future, where the planet is ruled by monsters known as Aragami, and the only people who can defeat them are soldiers called God Eaters. Lenka is one of these God Eaters, who has vowed to destroy every single Aragami after he lost his entire family to them. Hmm, I'm getting deja vu here. Anyone else thinking Attack on Titan? Whilst the series isn't as expansive in its world building and narrative as other series, God Eater delves straight into the action of enhanced humans fighting vicious monsters. What more could you want? Although the storyline is fairly predictable, Unfotable's impeccable animations and sound design give it an edge. So if you're looking for an action-packed series which you don't have to get too heavily invested in, this one is for you. Number 4, Today's Menu for the Emiya Family An offshoot from the Fate Stay Night anime is no surprise that the anime Today's Menu for the Emiya Family does contain some references to the franchise's central Holy Grail War. However, you don't need to worry about this, as Today's Menu for Emiya Family is a slice of life drama at its core. Bereft of any action and quite relaxing to watch, the anime follows Shiro's gastronomic journey as he wanders through the marketplace in search of ingredients that he can use in order to create delicious meals for the Emiya Family. But with how good his cooking is, uninvited guests are not a rare sight at the Emiya household when it comes to dinner time. As his guests entertain themselves, Shiro walks through the step-by-step -step process of creating some of his favorite meals. From steamy foil-baked salmon to drool-worthy shrimp tempura, nothing is off the menu. So grab your forks and get ready to dig in. Itadakimasu! Number 3. Bait Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works Based off a visual novel that goes by the same name, Fate Stay Night, there are three routes which the viewer can pick from, with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works being the second route, which was adapted into an anime by Unfotable Studios in 2014. The anime follows the character Rin Tosaka, a competitor in a tournament known as the Holy Grail War, in which she and six other candidates must fight to the death against one another. In the end, the winner of the tournament is awarded the Holy Grail itself, a chalice that grants the wish of whoever owns it. With beautiful animation and explosive battles, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Bloodworks is one of Unfotable's best anime. Number 2. Fate Zero Set before the events of Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, Fate Zero takes place during the Fourth Holy Grail War and focuses on the story of Hiritsuga Emiya, a man with an affinity for guns and modern technology. With extremely well-written characters and diverse dynamics between masters and servants of the series, not to mention the flawless animation which gives the viewer a spectacle with every fight, this is one of Unfotable's anime that you will definitely get hooked on. It's almost time to unveil Unfotable's number one anime, but before we do, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons in order to get new videos from Anime Divex. Number 1. Demon Slayer Demon Slayer not only took the anime world by storm when it first came out, but it also raised Unfotable Studios to a whole new level of recognition. And it's not hard to see why, from its stunning animation to its captivating storyline, which follows a young boy's quest to cure his sister of her demon curse. Demon Slayer really is an anime for the ages, with a film that's equally as great and a second series on the way. Fans have big expectations for this anime, which will hopefully hit even greater heights. Well, that's all folks. We hope you enjoyed our video. Let us know what your favorite unfotable anime is in the comment section down below. Also, in order to get new videos to you, every like and subscribe helps. And all it takes is a simple click of the buttons. So go give it a go. You won't regret it. Until next time. Sayonara.